What's up, Everyday Blades? Got a treat for you today. This is the Big Knives Bodega. This is not the custom Todd Big, which is a truly a Todd Big Bodega, which is a truly amazing knife. Um, it's a full custom. Uh, a few years ago, he offered uh, a line, a Steelcraft line, I believe it was called, from Riot. Those were phenomenal knives. I'll link, uh, I reviewed a couple of those. I had a few of them. I'll, I'll link, uh, I'll put the link in the description so you can check those videos out. But this one, those were, if I remember right, about $500-ish. Uh, he took a step further with these. Uh, these are way down in the budget category. I think these are like 120, 120-ish. Each model is different. He's got several different models out. Uh, of his designs and this one is is really nice he did some things to really cut the cost on it with the g10 he did a steel lock bar stainless steel lock bar d2 tool steel for the blades and, and what he did was make a really usable beautiful knife uh, you can see it's got the killer ergonomics, same as the customs do in the Steelcraft. I was a big fan of the Steelcraft. Uh, the Riot ones they offered uh, uh, Damas steel. It was just a just a beautiful. It was a Damascus. I don't know if it was a Damas steel, but uh, it was a it was a beautiful knife. All of them were. Uh, and he took it down a step further, and I think that was really smart. I think he's going to sell a lot of these. These are these are running on bearings, flippers. It's got his bag knives logo there. I don't know who the OEM this time is. I tried to find out. I, I couldn't find it. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's advertised anywhere. But <clears throat> here is an example of size up against the Benchmade Griptilian. As you can see, it's a good size knife. It's very similar in size to the Grip. Let's take a couple measurements on it. Check it out. Three and a half on the blade. Four and three quarter on the handle scales. Um, some people are not going to like the fact that he used a lot of T6. I, I would prefer T8, but uh, there's lots of them there. Uh, one issue I had when I received it is one of the screws were missing. I got very lucky and had a screw in my collection over there of tore down knives from from the past and got very lucky and had that screw because that would have been very difficult to find um, pivot looks like it's t8 but he he did a good job of carrying his design over into this knife it looks really nice this is a knife i would carry to work if i was if i was really going to hard use my knife this is a knife i would use because d2 holds an edge very well um I believe I saw another reviewer that had sent it off for uh, Rockwell testing and it come in at like 62, 63. That's very good uh, for D2. And that, that makes D2 perform at a level where it's up there with some really high-end steels as far as edge retention. Well, so let's see what the sucker's weighing in at. Five point seven. It's got it's got a five point eight. It's got a little more weight than uh, most of your standard knives that size. But like I said, it, it's not a small knife. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't doesn't feel like it would bother me using it. Uh, a lot of that's going to be, you know, you could have used titanium here, but then you bump it up to probably a two hundred and something dollar knife, and then it's not a budget knife anymore. It, it's in that weird two hundred dollar category, which there's not a lot of knives in that category. Very nice. Fit and finish is really good. The, uh, let's see. It's favoring the show side just a hair, but nothing worth talking about. Let's see if it's sharp. Oh, yeah, she's hair shaving sharp. Very nice. Good job. For, in my opinion, $120, that's a home run. Uh, Big Knives Bodega, budget version. Go check it out. Guys, thanks for watching. God bless you and your families. Say a prayer for our country. Good night.